guys what's up welcome back to my channel so from today's video I'm going to be starting off with this new series of back to school or back to college look videos so for today's video I have this really fresh kind of a summery look for you guys using all of the drugstore products I've not used any brushes or any makeup tools for this so it's a very achievable and a very simple kind of a look so if you want to know how I did this then please keep watching this video so if you're watching this video for the first time and you're looking at me on the screen for the first time then don't forget to subscribe to my channel what you have to do is hit the button below like here I guess yeah it's here so subscribe to my channel and this way you'll know whenever I'm up uploading any new videos so um, yeah let's get started so I'm starting off by moisturizing my skin I'm gonna apply this Neutrogena Ultra Shield Dry Touch Sunblock uh, this is gonna prime my face uh, prep it moisturize it and also protect it from the sun which is really 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 important during the summer so do not skip your sunscreen ever no matter it's summers or winters or whatever do not skip your sunscreen it really helps it's also gonna help your uh, skin stay dry and matte and also uh, avoid the blackheads and the dirt from touching your face so I'm just first dotting it onto my skin and then I'm just gonna massage it well into my skin I'm just gonna wait for like 5 minutes before it settles into my skin and uh, during, during my college days what I do is I apply the sunscreen and then I uh, go and wear my clothes so that it uh, settles into my skin and then I can come back and start with my makeup again the next thing that I'm gonna do is prime my face and I'm using the Nivea aftershave balm the Nivea men post shave balm in the sensitive variant so I've heard this from a lot of youtubers and they've been trying this uh, to prime, prime their faces before the makeup and I tried this once but I don't know if I got a good result so I'm gonna try doing this again and then I'm gonna see what it's like and then I'll make some of it onto the back of my hand it has quite a scent which I don't like you should wait again for this to settle into your skin so just wait for like two to three minutes before um, starting off with your base makeup or you so now I'm gonna apply my Maybelline BB cream and I am using uh, the shade natural it has SPF 20 as well but I don't skip my sunscreen even if I have SPF in my foundation or in my um, BB cream so yeah I'm using this by Maybelline clear all-in-one glow BB cream it's really good it has like a very nice natural finish if you buy the natural variant that is and I think it caters to mostly all skin tones so yeah like the BB creams that have only one or two color options then you can go for the Estee Lauder BB cream or you can go for the L'Oreal True Match BB cream because they have uh, three to four shades to choose from so you can have a better option there but I like this because it suits my skin tone and my uh, skin type and gives me a really nice natural look so yeah I go with this I'm going to blend this into my face using my fingers. For a person who likes a more matte and finished look, then you can set this using uh, the Maybelline Super, uh, Super Fresh 12 Hour Compact. I think it, it works really well. I have it but I use it only when, I'm feeling, uh, when my face is feeling a little uh, more on the oilier side. I don't have very oily skin. I have more like a combination skin so I don't really use compact. Um, on a daily basis the thing is I like a more uh, dewy and a more light finish that's the reason I avoid using compact because it can sometimes make your face look really cakey and made up so I avoid using that I like to use cream products on my face there are times when I don't use any product when I'm going to college sometimes I'm just gonna throw on some sunscreen onto my face and I'm just gonna go out without a a lipstick without a lip balm without anything when I'm in a hurry sometimes when I want to do something I'm just gonna go all out and make a wing liner put on the lipstick put on some blush but sometimes trust me I just go and I don't for my blush I'm gonna be using this lipstick by Kiss Beauty the thing is it has a very very beautiful neon pink shade which is this lipstick right here it's a very pretty shade and it looks really good on on my face and gives me a really nice fresh kind of a look uh, and a very nice soft blush so I use this instead of a powder blush or a different color blush I really like this color and this uh, consistency for a blush so I use this lipstick to give my face a nice soft color a 
flash. So uh, just take the color onto my ring finger and then dot it onto my cheeks. Smile and you know where you want to push, put your blush. So, so I'm just gonna dot this onto my face and then I'm gonna use the other finger and just blend it out by dabbing it into my skin. Instead of dragging it around and making the blush look really patchy and weird, you should actually dab this into your skin and it will give a more natural and a more flushed look. Also apply this uh, onto your cheekbones because it has like a slight bit of shimmer and a slight bit of highlight. So it's going to make your cheeks look, uh, look really glowy and dewy. I don't contour or highlight on a daily basis so I'm just going to skip that part and move directly onto my eyes. For my eyes I'm going to use this MUA Glamour Nights palette and I'm not doing anything dramatic, anything too edgy or uh, something very complicated. I'm just going to do something really simple. I'm going to pick this gold shade right here onto my ring finger and I'm just going to give my eyelid a wash of colour with this colour, with this eyeshadow. I'm going to take this matte black eyeshadow from the same palette onto a sponge tip applicator and I'm just going to smoke my lash lines, uh, my lower lash line as well as my upper lash line. Actually, I'm going to skip uh, doing this to my lower lash line. I like how this is looking. So, yeah. I'm just going to take my favorite favorite Maybelline Fall Seas Mascara and I'm going to give my top lashes a good 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 coat of mascara okay I am not kidding guys this mascara is just way too beautiful just look at the difference between the two eyes it's so good this mascara I love this so for my lips I have two options to go for one is this Maybelline lipstick the creamy man's lipstick in the shade Rock the Coral. It's a very nice corally pink kind of a color. It looks really pretty on fair to medium skin tones. So I can either go for this matte lip or I can go for this um, lip gloss by Streetwear Color Reach Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Smitten by Pink. It's also a very nice corally pink color but it has a more glossy and a more um, illuminating finish. So I think I'm going to go for this one because I always I think on my channel you've only seen me wear matte lip colors and um, or maybe satin finish lip colors. I never wear glosses so I think I'm going to go for this lipstick today. I mean the lip gloss today. So. If you guys like this video, if you like this then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. A big thumbs up. All you have to do is click on the like button below. And also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of such videos. And uh, make sure to comment in the comment section below. If you want me to do any particular video or you want me to review any of the products that I've been using. Please don't, please, please, please make it a point to comment down below in the comment section. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. So, bye bye.